Hello friends, welcome back to the Nintha YFS Junior and today we will be looking into the three states of matter. The three states of matter this is a very familiar topic to you and today we will be just looking at them in a bit detail. Okay, the three states of matter. So first of all we are looking into solid. So let us look into the properties of solids. So solids when you speak about the properties, you will be taking an account of these criteria, of these criteria. And first of all, intermolecular space. As you can see in the particle model of solids, they have very less intermolecular space. So we can say that intermolecular space is less. Okay. In solids, intermolecular space is less. That is the first property. And next, cohesive force or the intermolecular force of attraction. How much force does a molecule exert on the nearby molecules? Okay, so cohesive force is the highest in solids. Okay, that's why they are so tightly packed. So we can say that the cohesive force, so we can say that the cohesive force is high. So we can say that the cohesive force is high in solids. Okay, the intermolecular space is really low. And then the intermolecular force of attraction is really strong. That's why they don't change shape easily. Okay, so they have a fixed shape. They have a fixed shape. Without applying force, they cannot change shape. Okay, without applying force, they cannot change shape. And what else? They cannot change shape unless it is cut or broken. Solids can only change shape when applied force and when it is cut or broken. Okay, so solids have a fixed shape. And next, volume. Solids have a fixed volume. Solids have a fixed volume. They doesn't change their volume. Okay, solids, they have a fixed volume. Volume doesn't change in solids because of the less intermolecular space. Okay, we cannot compress any further and make the intermolecular space less. Okay, we cannot compress it again to change the volume. So, solids have a fixed volume. And next, compressibility. Can we compress solids into a lesser volume? We cannot. We cannot compress solids. That's why the compressibility of solids is not compressible. Okay. Solids are not compressible. They cannot be compressed. And next, fluidity. So, fluidity. Does a solid flow? No. Okay, you can just think about it. If you take a chair and will it flow like water? No. And now I have a piece of chalk. Okay. I have a piece of chalk and it is a solid. And first of all, the intermolecular space. I don't show that with this chalk. The intermolecular force of attraction. The cohesive force. And next the shape. Look, I am applying force. Is the shape changing? Look, the shape remains fixed. The shape doesn't change at all. Okay. And next, the volume. Can I compress it so that its volume decreases? Let me try. So I'm trying to compress it. Okay. I'm trying. Look, I cannot compress it. Okay. I cannot compress it. It is not compressible. And next, the compressibility. Look, you just saw, right? It is not compressible. And next fluidity. Will it flow? No, it is not flowing. Okay, it remains in a fixed shape. Solids only change shape when broken, cut or when applied force. For example, I am taking this piece of chalk and breaking it. Look, I can break it. Okay, but unless you apply force, its shape remains constant. And you can cut it. Okay. And then, if you apply force, enough force. Okay, if you apply enough force, you can look, 
can break it into smaller pieces so solids they are tightly packed and next let us look into liquids when you take liquids we use the same criteria but there are changes intermolecular space is liquids when compared to solids okay intermolecular when compared to solids in liquids okay and next cohesive force the cohesive force is also less cohesive force also the cohesive force is also less but when compared to solids cohesive force is also less when compared to solids and shape liquids doesn't have a fixed shape okay no fixed shape okay no fixed shape and volume will its volume change volume liquids have a fixed volume okay it doesn't have a fixed shape but it does have a fixed volume and next compressibility compressibility can it compress it liquids they are compressible to a small extent okay liquids they are compressible to a small extent okay a little bit okay can just compress liquids just a little bit okay that's why small extent and next fluidity it flows so liquids can flow okay they flow and doesn't have a fixed shape and liquids need a container for it to be stored and next let us look into gases so gases they have a high intermolecular space okay gases have a high intermolecular space so we can say that the intermolecular space in gases are the maximum okay so maximum intermolecular space maximum and next cohesive force is the least okay we can say the cohesive force or we can say that the cohesive force is the weakest okay it has the weakest cohesive force and next shape not fixed gases the shape is not fixed what about volume volume is also not fixed no fixed volume and compressibility if it is compressibility it is highly compressible and next fluidity it flows okay so if you take a bottle of air an empty bottle means it does have air inside and if you try to compress it it will compress that's why gases are highly compressible and if you just take a little container filled with oxygen for example a little container filled with oxygen as soon as you open it it will expand to fill the entire room okay so gases doesn't have a fixed volume and it is highly compressible and gases just like liquids it can flow okay and gases need a closed container to be stored solids doesn't need a container to be stored while liquids need a container while gases need a closed container to be stored okay so that's what solids liquids and gases we learned about the three states of matter okay so that's it for today's video and we'll be looking into some frequently asked questions in the next video and that's it for this chapter